Just when you think things can't get any crazier, they do. I actually had uh, two of my writers write about the same thing today, like two ships, I guess, quietly passing each other uh, in the night. So there's two articles on this up on Infowars.com. MSNBC guessed more white kids have to die. And then there's Paul Watson's article. That was Kurt Nemo's headline. MSNBC pundit, more white kids need to die for Americans to understand racism. You know, I just asked Kurt to add crime statistics from the Justice Department uh, on uh, exactly uh, who's killing who, just a fact, because it's been advertised and pushed by the socialist authoritarian media and by the New Black Panther Party and a lot of other groups like that that don't mug people and rob people in your neighborhood. Go find a predominantly white neighborhood and go after them. And then Michael Moore says if white people buy guns is because they're scared of, scared of black people. I don't think that's the case on average. Uh, but it, uh, this is really a war on self-defense. And Michael Moore and his social engineers, they want all of us to live like folks do in the most dangerous areas of Chicago, the most dangerous areas of New York and D.C., where they have taken the firearms from the law-abiding citizens. And that's what this whole PSYOP is about. Last night, my uh, wife had gone to the grocery store late, so she pulls up, gets out of the car at about 9 at night, comes in the house, and she said, I was just listening to Greta Van Sestern on Fox uh, via XM, and she said, you've got to hear this. So this morning, she went and found the clip. I forgot to give it to the to give it to the guys, but I will, where she has one of the attorneys for the uh, Martin family on, and the woman says, I am a social engineer, not just a lawyer. And we're here fighting racism, and that's why the Justice Department needs to go after uh, Zimmerman. And, and I, it just hit me with what a distraction this whole thing is from all the real tyranny going on in this world. And how that's all the establishment has going for them is to get us to fight with each other. It's so elementary, it's so obvious, but the media puts something out like this, puts a story out, beats the drum for a year and a half, and people almost feel like they're celebrities weighing in on it. People feel like uh, they are part of the establishment weighing in on things. They feel like it's, it, you know, it's cool to be part of it. And you've got the white folks you know, on the Internet, which has the anonymity, or people claiming they're white folks. In some cases, it's probably people in government saying horrible things about, quote, minorities. And then you've got people claiming to be black. Some of them, I'm sure, are. Some of them aren't. I'm sure it's the same thing as with the provocateurs on the other side. Stirring up things. And you sit here and you look at it, and the drum just beats and beats, and beats, and beats, and beats, and beats. So what I'm going to do is get into the latest on the uh, whole saga where, where you have racial attacks. I mean, I saw a video where you've got another TV reporter interviewing a black guy, but it's to a white camera guy and a white reporter. And it looks like when they run away, it's a couple of black, looks like teenagers, come up and sucker punch in the back of the head, the cameraman and the uh, reporter, and then are running off. And you can hear the big black guy they're interviewing turn towards the teenagers and says, what you gonna do, little man? So they run off from him. And uh, there's a bunch of these videos. I mean, imagine, there's a white guy, let me go punch him. He, he probably, I mean, that's pure racism. And then I saw on InfoWars, People defending it going, hey, go ahead and shoot the reporters. You know, they might be dangerous like George Zimmerman did. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.
Here we are broadcasting worldwide on this Wednesday, the 17th day of July, 2013 worldwide broadcast. Okay, coming up, I want to get into a article from Yahoo News today. Uh, is carrying it. It's actually the Associated Press driving somewhere. There's a government record of that. Now, going back 18 years, when I first got on air, I confirmed that they were installing license plate reading cameras in Indiana and Texas. Uh, I saw it in a, a technology uh, publication that actually an engineer brought me. This is back in 1995, 1996. And I said, those cameras they've put up on I-35, because it listed them, are, are recording your license plate and everywhere you go. And people would call in and say, we're not 1984. We're not beyond Soviet Russia. You're a liar. And I would tell people, by 1998, your digital cable box is listening to you with a microphone. I even busted one open on access television and got death threats over it by people claiming they were engineers. You know, if you keep talking about this, you're dead, boy. Stuff like that. Because back then, hey, there's no microphone listening to me in my cable box. I'm in America. And, 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 and this is big money for the system. They got hopping. And I mean hopping mad. But uh, here it is in the Associated Press today. So see, what's ancient news for my audience is now new news to the public. Because now it's all about throwing it in your face because now they're going to use the grid openly. Uh, government bureau creating a Google Earth on every financial transaction, Senator says, CNS News. Yeah, the uh, Pentagon a few years ago uh, actually came out and said, we have a giant computer map with DARPA of every transaction you make, every phone call you make, every place you go, who you talk to, what you do. So, of course, I mean, you know, why are they saying arrest Snowden? Because he came out and said that it's illegal and it's wrong and that they're targeting non-terrorists, the general public. His crime is his credibility as a network administrator over very high-level stuff. Because even if you're not, you know, somebody that's been working there for years, when you've got the know-how they need, you're over the infrastructure. You're the mole, the ghost in the system. And so that, this is about intimidating their own minions. That's what this whole situation is about. So we're going to be getting into that. Old news for our audience, new news for the general public. Financial Times of London. We have good cause to abhor the surveillance state. And then they go into talking about how every case that's been done in history, it results in absolute tyranny and nightmare despotism. Oh, oh yeah, most of the people that are filthy rich right now, and help bring this system in are going to be robbed by the tyranny they set up. Only madmen uh, get rid of the checks and the balances. Continuing, uh, do you know where you'll be in 285 days from now at 2 p.m.? Microsoft and Google do. This is out of fastcompany.com. Again, I told you about this, uh, 1999 is when I learned about it. And then they were bragging about it in MIT publications by 2005. And I've told you that by 2006, they had 93% accuracy on where you're going to eat dinner tomorrow night, even before you knew, and even higher accuracy uh, with mass movements. Now it's even worse. So there's that article. Privacy groups led by Electronic Frontier Foundation sue to stop NSA and FBI electronic surveillance, pointing out it's illegal. Well, it's secret arrest and torture is illegal. Uh, saying the Tea Party is terrorist is illegal. Having the IRS tell churches what they can pray is illegal. And telling pro-lifers they can't demonstrate against uh, abortions. This has been recorded. This has been in the news. You know, that's illegal. But you know, tell that to Adolf Hitler. Tell that to Julius Caesar. Tell that to Pol Pot. Tell that to Mao Zedong. Tell that to Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-il and his daddy before him. They got the guns. You don't. You're a slave. That's why the globalists want our guns. That's why bipartisan they want our guns. That's why they're connecting gun ownership on CNN and MSNBC and, and Fox Sports to racism. So that they can culturally 
get the minorities that are really the majority and are going to be a super majority within about a decade to, to think, I want to ban the guns. It's my civil right to have my guns taken. It's my civil right to kill my baby. It's my civil right to have free fluoride put in my water. It's my civil right. <laughs> this is loving your servitude. This is how they, they bind it to that. If you don't let unlimited foreigners come in and be given government welfare as a stipend to help uh, uh, supplant jobs and drive down wages, you're a racist. If you don't like the health care bill written by insurance companies to not give pre-existing care, make poor people buy the care, have giant taxes on everybody's payroll, rip everybody off, but the mega rich that are exempt and Congress who's exempt, you're a racist. Yeah, everybody's been looking at their paycheck with that Obamacare money getting peeled off the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to give you something free because he's a black man and he loves you. That's why all the big foreign banks funded him two to one against the ringer he was running against, Mittens Romney. That whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, was one big fix. People said, well, why weren't you for John McCain then? Why did you not go out against Obama five years ago? Because I knew they were all just globalists and they were going to put in who they wanted. He probably did get elected popularly. That's how this country works. That's why we're suckers. It's why we're becoming poor. It's why we're dying young. It's why the cancer rates are up and the IQs are dropping physically. Because we stopped being wily. We stopped not trusting the government. We stopped the common sense, folks. If you went back 100 years ago to the north, south, the east, the west, black, white, Asian, it didn't matter. And you said, let's trust the government. Let's give them power. They're going to take care of us. People would laugh at you. Oh, the old timers, <coughs> they don't like to keep their money in a bank. Why? They don't trust it. And now you see them stealing people's bank accounts, bank fees, taking money out of people's accounts all over the world, looting the pension funds all over the world, and now it's accelerating here. And once they get their cashless society in place, then they can charge you $5 or whatever they want to use your own digital money, and that's the plan. And then they can track everywhere you go, and they can figure out what you've absolutely got to have, and they can find where you're getting money off the radar. Most people couldn't survive nowadays if they actually paid all the taxes. Most people couldn't survive the day if they weren't doing some underground work. And that's all going to be gotten rid of so they can have the post-industrial world and shut things down and make you live in a 200-square-foot coffin apartment. That's the plan, Jack, to make you poor so that you can be the, the ignorant food of the new world order. When you look at what they've done to poor communities across the world, the globalists, how they make them dependent, how they break them down, how they break down the families. That is the group that's already been dominated and taken control of and enslaved that is then used as the, the political football fodder to then go out and be the political minions and the political foot soldiers of the collectivist hive Borg that seize control of the system. So I'm going to be getting into a little bit more on the NSA, and we're going to get into the U.S. Army on record being used to spy on anti-GMO activists. Now, why would the Army be involved in spying on health groups, anti-war groups, Tea Party groups? I mean, this has come out that the Army leaked it when they were told to go to Ron Paul rallies in Houston and Dallas, one of which I was speaking at. And, and, and in the training uh, sheet and in the briefing, it said, don't let them know you're U.S. Army. They may kill you. Remember that? And in the Fed rally four years ago, it's in my film, Obama Deception. Just four and a half years ago. We show our rally up there. You can just pull up Army at Ron Paul rallies. And imagine the Army sitting there in a meeting with straight face going, don't let them know you're U.S. Army in plain clothes. They may attack you or try to kill you. Really, I think probably half the people of those rallies are probably active due to the military. And that's why the military leaked that 
out of Camp Mabry, Austin, Texas, was because they're like, wow, this is, this is crazy. Yes, this is authoritarianism. All of it, all of it you see is authoritarianism pointed at the American people. And the only way the globalists can win is playing us off against each other. So when I come back, I'm first going to get into the latest now four plus days into the verdict and I've got stacks of news articles here where Hollywood hit by roaming band of robbers, police say, no connection to the Zimmerman Trayvon Martin verdict. That's what the LA Times says. That'd be like if the sun came up and warmed the plants and made the plants grow and they said that has no effect on the plant. I guess the UN already actually voted and said that, that the sun doesn't affect climate. So I guess it's true, the sun doesn't, doesn't warm my skin, doesn't give me a sunburn, doesn't make the plants grow, doesn't make the water turn into vapor and then go up and form clouds because the UN said so. So I see, see, I try to make satirical jokes and then it's not satire, it's already happening. So uh, all over the place, there are groups of black teens mainly with, uh, with uh, m you know, meth head type drooling um, anarchist, uh, so-called anarchist uh, in tow with them, uh, beating people up, going into Walmarts, uh, robbing people. This is a phenomenon all over the country. And the police always stand down because this is again a sacrament uh, of the trendiness uh, preparing the race war. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. You know, there's another Bob Marley song that we play a clip of where he talks about uh, they want us divided. They want us fighting with each other. They want us killing one another. And that's why when Malcolm X ceased to be a uh, racist, you know, saying that all whites were inherently bad people, because he traveled to Eastern Europe, he traveled to the Middle East, saw everybody living in peace together. Then he came back and preached against it and got assassinated. Same reason they killed Martin Luther King. The last thing the globalists want is for you to go off what somebody actually stands for and does. And, and, and think about it. The so-called liberal media and Al Sharpton and all these other racists, do you think them saying outrageous stuff on television is going to create more unity or less unity? Oh, it's going to unify the rabble under them. It's going to unify the black racist and the thug culture that is taking over the communities of this country period the thug life under that as a racial system just like the government funds mecha and la raza and the fortune 500 funds it which are hispanic ku klux klan groups go read their writings it's incredible and just like the government gives attention and has been caught giving support to the white supremacist rabble and then playing us off against each other that is exactly what's going on. By the way, Jimmy Carter has come out, and this is in Politico, there's a video, saying George Zimmerman jury was right. Well, I guess that's because he is a cracker butt. Uh, no, it's because he actually knows the law. Whether you love or hate Jimmy Carter, he always tries to be fair. And he's always been a big peacemaker with the only real accords with Israel and Egypt ever that we've seen. And no one can deny he's a real Christian and means well. And he, he, he followed it and he said they made the right decision. I think the jury made the right decision based on the evidence presented because the prosecution inadvertently, I don't think inadvertently, they wanted this to go to trial and then be a mistrial. We said that day one. Inadvertently set the standards so high that the jury had to be convinced that it was deliberate act by Zimmerman that he was not at all defending himself. 
There you go. Yeah, they probably could have gotten an involuntary manslaughter or manslaughter. Because this case is close, folks. I, I don't think it's a cut and dry thing. And that's why it was chosen. I don't think it's smart to follow somebody with a gun if they're walking between houses and look and you know looking back and forth because they're wearing a hoodie and fits some type of archetype in your mind. And I mean, I do think that fed into the fact that there had been some robberies, the suspects were black males, and then it fed into it. But there is an injustice of a dead person here because we don't know Trayvon Martin was robbing. We don't know that. But we don't know that Zimmerman killed him on purpose. It's called reasonable doubt. And what you've got is a power structure that wants to divide and conquer people. Now, this video is up on InfoWars.com. There's two different articles. Kurt wrote his last night but had it, had it on pause until this morning so he could publish it at 5 a.m. And uh, Paul Joseph Watson also did an article uh, on it. Professor who said black people can't be racist spews racism. And we're going to play a clip. MSNBC pundit and professor Michael Eric Dyson, who previously argued that it's impossible for black people to be racist. All that is is tribalism. I mean, they got black tribes killing black tribes in Africa over any excuse. You know, well, you, you worship a different god or you live in a different area. I mean, it's tribalism. But he says it's impossible, illustrating why so many viewers are abandoning the beleaguered network that has said Americans would not understand racism until white kids were being killed in the same numbers as blacks. So I've, I've seen these Justice Department numbers before. I'm going to have the guys dig it up and add it to Kurt and Watson's article, where on average, last time I saw the numbers, a white is 10 times more likely to be assaulted or killed by a black person. 10 times. Uh, and on average, it's above 10, but in some areas, 20 times. And I show these statistics Sunday from the Justice Department. 20 times more likely to be killed by a black person, if you're a black person, than by a white person. There are some areas of the country where Hispanics are killing blacks in a gang-related racist uh, thing, and that's in L.A. Where it's the only place the numbers are flipped. And the Hispanics uh, are, are uh, mainly from Mexico. It's Mexican gangs. They're coming in and, and pushing the blacks out. Uh, but so, so I, think, I think whites do understand, sir, that the media has said whites are racist and bad, kill them, rob them, murder them, and then people actually don't feel like they're racist doing it. It becomes a good thing to do. That's like kill a commie for mommy, kill a cracker for daddy. You know, it's, it, that's what's going on here. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. In arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. All right, coming up, ladies and gentlemen, after I finish up with uh, the latest on the social engineering with the Trayvon Martin case, and I've got a bunch of clips I'm going to get to. FBI bars release of autopsy info for Boston bombing suspects acquaintance. This is the guy they shot in the top of the head. He told family, the FBI is coming to kill me. Uh, he was obviously involved in the multinational uh, counterterrorism operations with uh, Tamerlan Zarnev, who it turned out was funded by the CIA. But they know the public doesn't know their head from a hole in the ground. We know there was a drill. We know there was uh, patsies that were set up. The younger brother has now pled not guilty. And Rolling Stone has the headline, The Bomber just says he did it. Well, I hope they don't blow something up, cut my throat out, blame it on me. I plead not guilty. And then they just say that I'm guilty. See, there's an assault on juries. There's an assault on due process. I'm going to be getting to that. I'm going to be getting to a Panama intercepts North Korean ship with suspected arms. I've got something I want to break down there. Uh, I want to break down real tragedies like 22 children die in India after eating school meal. 
I want to get into the latest on the NSA. Uh, I want to get into the latest just on a host of issues that are up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. But first, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard me talk a lot about the incredible Longevity products, and we have them discounted at the lowest price you're going to find anywhere and free shipping when you sign up with uh, the auto ship system at InfoWarsHealth.com. I go out and I find the very best products that have the very best quality ingredients. I promote and fund our operation with the very best Pro One, Pro Pure water filters. We carry the best books, the best films. Uh, whatever I think is just excellent, whatever I do research on, the best quality uh, non-GMO heirloom, non-hybrid seeds uh, at InfoWarsStore.com. And that's then how we fund the overall message of liberty. And that's why we're under such incredible attack is because the system has figured out we're waking people up. There's a National Review story out today saying that I am, quote, certifiably insane and incredibly dangerous. But they spin it and say America's free, unlike what Alex Jones says, because he's still on the air. Yeah, it's taken me 18 years, and there's still enough freedom left that I could be on the air. I never said America was under total tyranny. They're trying to put us under total tyranny. Anybody can see that. So I'll mention that later if I have time, maybe in the next hour, and we have a guest in studio. But the total ORAC score of 8,000 per serving, the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, ladies and gentlemen, Whole foods, trace minerals, antioxidants, probiotics, prebiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, and more. An incredible superfood. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine Citrus Peach Fusion, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex, discounted at InfoWarsStore.com. And, of course, they have the old-fashioned Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well, but it's non-GMO organic. And now they have the Longevity uh, Beyond Osteo FX, now in powder form. If you don't like drinking uh, the... Uh, incredible serum for your joints that so many NFL football players like Drew Pearson rave about and endorse. InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's also a toll-free number there at InfoWarsHealth.com. If you want to call and have any of your questions answered or if you need any help uh, getting uh, signed up there online for the auto ship, uh, there is, again, also a toll-free number at InfoWarsHealth.com, 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277. And you can also call our office. That's, that's the InfoWars team there. You can call our office and order any of the books, the films, uh, the, the uh, documentaries, uh, the T-shirts, the Pro One water filters, Pro Pure discount code wa uh, water, get 10% off. 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139, and you're helping us continue our operation, but also expand in the face of the globalist, because I'm not going to risk my life and not go 110%. So I want to commend and salute all of you that have made this broadcast possible, and the, the magazine, and the films, and everything we do that has the establishment right wing and the establishment left wing coming after us. Uh, today is the official release date of State of Mind, the documentary into globalist conditioning and mind control. Great way to up your knowledge, but also wake up friends and family. I'm in the film along with a lot of other experts. And we will premiere the film for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers and InfoWars Nightly News viewers tonight. So if you're not a subscriber at PrisonPlanet.tv for $5.95 a month, now is the time to do it. Now is the time. One membership in Operation Awaking the Sleeping Giant is 11 memberships. So have an original username and passcode that you can share. 11 people can tune in tonight, 7 o'clock Central, to see the premiere of State of Mind. And yes, we will go on air on time tonight, 7 o'clock Central, and it's going to be about a four-hour show. We're going to have the nightly news for 30 minutes, then we're going to have the two-plus-hour film, and then the filmmakers uh, during and after, at an intermission and after, in studio with us tonight. Tonight's the night, the 17th of July, 2013. Another powerful salvo of awakening. The people perish for lack of knowledge? Well, this is a lifeboat for a drowning world. Tonight, 7 o'clock Central, PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're not a member, become one. If you have a membership, 
Call your friends and family. Tell them, hey, here's a username, passcode, 7 o'clock central tonight. Or then it'll be archived for everybody after it airs tonight uh, at prisonplanet.tv. You can watch it in high def uh, at your leisure. Okay, enough ranting. I hardly ever plug. I'm usually once or twice a day, and when I do, it tends to go on for a while. So, again, thank you for joining us. All right. Resetting here. Jimmy Carter, you can say what you want about him. He was a real guy. He was a real guy. I don't agree with a lot of his bleeding heart stuff because it always makes people dependent and can be used. But he, he followed the trial. He said he's been upset by it. And he told WXIA-TV, there's a video of it, up on Infowars.com. It's also on DrudgeReport.com. It's from Politico, uh, where he says, I think they made the right decision because the prosecution inadvertently set the standards so high the jury had to be convinced that it was deliberate act by Zimmerman, that he was not at all defending himself and so forth. And if you know the law, that's how OJ got off. And was it a, you know, a thing of anti-white that he killed his white ex-wife, many believed, no, white people didn't go. He's a racist. He, he, he you know, because he, he's white. And no, it's a crime of passion, a crime of passion. But regardless, they couldn't totally prove it, even though it looked like he was guilty. You got to be sure, folks. There cannot be any reasonable doubt. Any reasonable doubt. That's our system. Hey, in North Korea, they don't have a trial, folks. You just disappear. And in other places, they have kangaroo courts where politically they decide what they want to do. And that's what this is all about, is social engineering. I've been saying it for a year and a half since this started. And one of Trayvon Martin's family's lawyers got up there and said, on Greta Van Sessa, we're going to play a clip coming up, said that exact thing. And you can say what you want. I'm sure black people have gone through a lot of racism and discrimination uh, and just uncomfortableness. I've said this many times. I don't like being invited to fancy, you know, country clubs like the most elite because I don't feel like state senators or U.S. senators or, uh, you know, famous people, because I get invited to stuff like this, uh, you know, come to our spa. And then I'm in the bathroom. I took a shower, you know, after playing tennis or whatever. And who are you? Are you Alex Jones? I'm judge such and such. What are you what are you doing here? Who invited you here? Well, the such and such has invited me. You know, we're just uh, you know, here to play tennis and then eat dinner. Uh, uh huh. Well, very nice to see you. You know, it's so 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 much. What you call racism is just uncomfortableness, and the media is there trying to create that, trying to make people where they don't feel like they're comfortable. I mean, if you go to some of these elite restaurants slash speakeasies in Austin. Because that's the trendy thing, is to go to a bar that's not licensed, and they serve dinner. And anytime I go out with celebrities in Austin, when they come visit me, they want to go to one of these things in East Austin. And so you go and you knock on the door, and they look at you, and they bring you in. There's gourmet food and all this stuff. But people come over and go, Alex Jones, who let you in here? You know, what I'm saying is it's like that if you go to some trendy black bar, you're probably going to have some racist Black guys come over, even if 90% of people in there like you and, and, and think you're cool, they're going to be some racist in there. Again, they're tribalist or they're elitist or want to be elitist. It's like a club. Who was it said I wouldn't be part of any club that would have me? And then they you know, come over. I mean, you could go to a redneck event, and if they don't know you, they're going to come over and say, who are you? If they're trashy people that are just into their club. Who invited you to this bonfire? Even if you're just sitting there. You know how uncool people are. So you go to hear some jazz at some you know, East Austin, uh, you know, talking 10 years ago before all the trendies went over there. And it's like, what are you crackers doing here? And you're like, nothing. Like, oh, that's all right. I'm not going to beat your butt or anything. And then the uh, reason I won't go to places like that is I'll say, oh, you are? Well, go ahead and try it. See, because that's my problem. I can't back off to anybody, folks. So that's why I don't go to country clubs. It's why I don't go to pretty much black-only bars. Because you're going to get told, get your cracker butt out of here. And you go to a country club, they're going to be like, who are you? Well, Alex Jones, why are you here? If you go to the most elite country club. They'll kick anybody out because that's how they feel elitist. I'm explaining to you how the world really works if you haven't experienced this, okay? 
So they want us all uncomfortable. They want us all in our own grips, and it's a gang mentality. Al Sharpton and Jesse, well, Jesse Jackson's not that bad compared to Al Sharpton. And Al Sharpton's not that bad compared to some of these professor, uh, Michael Eric Dyson, who says blacks cannot be racist, we're perfect. Uh, and whites are inherently bad, and more white people need to die. And I'm like, excuse me? On average, it's 10 to 1 black-on-white crime in this country because it's advertised. Go out and knock a cracker over the head. I can play the clips of this stuff. And then so crackers go and get guns and start getting scared because there's a minority of blacks that are racist that go out and feed on white people. And then you've got Professor running around on MSNBC. I mean, my mom said she hadn't watched NBC in about a year. She turned it on. And my, and my mom's what you'd call kind of a classical populist, you know, liberal. She's changed over the years just seeing the extremism of the left. And she goes, my, I couldn't believe it. She said it was like the Twilight Zone. I know MSNBC is scientific cultural death, scientific cultural pollution. It, it, it is a weapon. It is an assault. And anytime I'm in L.A., or some liberal area, and I'm in a minority-owned store, man, you know it's on, and the people are sitting there watching it, and it's just like, wow, this is not equality, folks. This is not coming together. This is going to create people segregating themselves. People segregate themselves. They segregate themselves, and it's everybody doing this, and this is by design because these political groups want these groups under them. Do something courageous, bold, and helpful, not only to African-American people, but to America. Because lest we do this, white Americans and others will feel that this was a justifiable verdict. This is how things happen. Not until and unless the number of white kids died that approximate the numbers of black and other kids who die, will America see it's beyond logic, it's about rationality, it's about let's get something done. I think the Attorney General will look at this, and I think it's time for... All right, there you go. Now, again, this is about making the whole world about race, too. I mean, it's a bunch of grandstanding. And the attorney general came out and said, we're going to stand up against these guns. We're going to stand up. We're going to stand our ground. So now they're selling self-defense laws. By the way, statistics are out today that Ellie Collar has them. The Justice Department admits two to one in Florida, blacks, you stand their ground. When somebody's got a weapon, you got to have a weapon, coming at somebody to attack them, and they shoot them. You see... I want to arm the people in Mexico to defend themselves against the organized criminal government and the cartels. I want to arm black people in Chicago, New York, and D.C. And let me tell you, because we know what's happened when this has been done in other areas, the crime rate will go straight down. Let me tell you, if, you, if they had a city program to train Chicagoans, train Chicagoans, you could have public events with thousands out there, sign a waiver, do the training, you would see... A massive crime reduction if especially law-abiding citizens, hard-working black folks in Chicago, it's the black areas that have the crime rate just off the charts, 500 plus dead a year, thousands wounded. If you armed the good citizens, because they follow the law and then don't have a gun, you would literally see those criminals, a bloodbath at first, and then crime rates plunge to almost nothing. It is a fact. This is not my opinion. The true racism is that black cities don't let black people have guns. Because the Democratic Party is the party of the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, that, that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. These are Judas goats, just like Margaret Sanger said. She goes, we're going to go hire black leaders, pose as liberals to control these people. That's how we're going to get control and break up their families and social engineer them. Now, let's go to the next clip here. Here is another clip. This is um, Eric Holder saying we must stand our ground at the NAACP convention. This is the guy that ships guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment that has killed thousands of people. Uh, this is a guy that is absolutely cold-blooded, playing the race card, manipulating his would-be slaves at the NAACP. Here it is. We must stand our ground to ensure that our laws reduce violence and take a hard look at laws that contribute to more violence than they prevent. We must also seek a dialogue on attitudes about violence and disparities that are too commonly swept under the rug by honoring the finest traditions established by generations of NAACP leaders and other nonviolent advocates throughout history. 
and by paying tribute to the young man who lost his life here last year. The patron year. saint of disarming America. And so many others whose futures have been cut short. Well, this guy arms to the teeth with 7,000 armored vehicles, too often billions of rounds of ammo, in our streets. drones, M NSA spying, government shipping narcotics into black areas. And we must do so by engaging with one another in a way that is at once peaceful, inclusive, respectful. You see, if Ron and Paul, strong. that's enough, just get him off there. As we move Thank you. You know, you know, Ron Paul gave speeches saying the CIA ships the drugs in, we need to abolish it and decriminalize so that it isn't a scourge in our inner cities. Can you imagine if they decriminalized drugs? It would take all the money out of it. It would, end, it would really hurt the thug culture. Oh, but no, 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 no. Holder's never going to come out and say the big banks ship drugs in the minority neighborhoods. No, no, no. He's not going to do anything real. He's going to sit up there and talk about his, he has to teach his son about racial profiling. Really, it turns out they've searched for more whites without warrants than blacks in New York. It's up to like a million a year. What about everybody getting their Bill of Rights? What about everybody getting their Constitution? Oh, well, don't worry. We don't profile anybody. Everybody's a slave. Everybody loses their rights. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. 
I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Now, I want to go to this clip of Jasmine Rand on Fox News last night. She said it a bunch of times that I'm a social engineer and we're going to change the culture. And that's what this trial is about. And that's what they're turning Trayvon Martin into is an anti-Second Amendment martyr, an anti-self-defense martyr, an anti-jury martyr. And you've got all these calls about get rid of juries, have the Justice Department decide. Yeah, just make them God. But this is more about, there's a lot of reasons the social engineers do this. And, and then they write textbooks on it. And that's why this lawyer spouts off about it, because they're all in the club. You know, they're showing how smart they are, that I'm an engineer too. No, you're being engineered as well. Those that think they're in control, think they know how to manipulate people. If you don't give people wide spectrum truth, you dumb them down. And then you build a world of idiots. And nobody wants to live in that because a world of idiots will be led by a world of tyrants. A, a planet of sheep will be ruled by predators and wolves. But this is really about thinking you're right is about your sexual preference or what color you are. Whereas, the, you know, that's in there in the mix to the exclusion of do I have a right to not have foreign banks ruling over me, stealing my entire economy, picking winners and losers, deindustrializing shutting down the small businesses. You know, federal law says two-thirds of federal bids should go to small business. None of it goes to it, basically. And I have the head of the Small Business League ongoing. We're all being discriminated against. If we're going to have a big government, if the money shouldn't go offshore. It should go to a bid process. And the money should go back in the economy. That's discrimination. That gets me upset. Lying. When Rick Perry lies and says, it's the law, you've got to take these vaccines, that's discrimination, a hoax, to say take this deadly shot. When Mexico's forcing Gardasil on all girls by law, here it wasn't the law, he lied and said it was. There, they're doing it. Japan banned it. It's killing people. I don't want those Mexican girls dying. My, my humanity, see, I'm a racist, is why. See, all this real stuff's happening. We're being hammered, folks, with chemtrails, electromagnetic. I'm getting chills right now. And they're just going to force race, 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 race. And I'll have to hear white people online saying racist stuff. And then i got to hear black people saying racist stuff. Just knowing what idiots they are when, we, when we've got a new world order over us. Coming down on us. Social engineering, our genetics, our food, everything. Towards the end of civilization towards the end of humanity, towards Elysium. Man, I'm getting heavy chills. I don't think I've ever gotten chills this bad. You guys see this? I mean, I've got goosebumps, man, because I realize, let's go to this clip of this lady saying she's a social engineer. Fox News last night, here it is. I have a greater duty beyond being an attorney, and that's to be a social engineer. And when the law doesn't get it right, I believe that we have the right to peacefully and morally, conscientiously object to the decision of the jury. That doesn't mean that we believe that it's going to be overturned or that it will or that we don't respect the decision that those six people made. But there are millions of people out there who don't agree with that decision. So it's not just the legal it's, you team. You know what the problem it's is? Millions so, you of know, people, that's and disturbing. That's deeply, from all over the world. that's deeply disturbing. They say millions are out there didn't see it. You know and I know that millions of people who may not... Jasmine like work, Rand, is, she says it again and again. The full clip's up on Infowars.com. But this is an inherently evil woman using her beauty and her mind to sit there and play games. And, and, and again, anytime people like her, Al Sharpton, all these folks, black, white, doesn't matter, 
when they seize on this, it's to make them a celebrity. And the more radical they are, like the Fox Sports guy saying all gun owners are racist, they're in the new Klan, basically. I mean, they know that's a lie. And, and see, they get to be racist, they get to promote race baiting as a political weapon. Because all they want is green money, folks. They want to separate you from your money. It is unbelievable. All right, I'm going to get into a bunch of other news. Got a special guest in studio. We'll open the phones up as well. And I got an old compadre coming in. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.